Hey guys and welcome to Dare to Excel. In this video we're going to look at VLOOKUP, um, why you should use it, and um, how to set it up. So first off, let's get familiar with our source data. Here we have um, a person's expenses for the past three months starting in June and ending in August. And we separated by date, the company the transaction was made um, to, the description of the purchase, whether that purchase was a product or a service, the account number used to make that purchase, rather that was a debit or a credit card, how frequently this um, purchase is expected to be made, the category of the purchase, entertainment, food, electronics, the amount of money spent on that transaction, and rather the purchase was large, medium, or small size. So. Um, the reason why you'd want to use VLOOKUP is when you start getting data this big or even bigger, um, you don't want to have to keep scrolling down to, to find something in there. And um, using filters um, can get really messy when um, you know you want to change things constantly because you have to constantly uncheck and check and, and uncheck and check and uncheck over and over again. So um, that's what VLOOKUP's for. It's great for um, big um, spreadsheets with a lot of data in it. So. We set this up over here already, um, just a just a basic little um, little table. Um, and what VLOOKUP does is it takes a column you're looking at. So in this example, we're going to look at the date, and then um, it needs to know what um, what range of data you're looking at, and then what corresponding column do you want to look at um, to that first column that you picked. And the first column you pick has to be left of the column you're referencing. So you'll see what I mean in just a second. Um, all right, so let's get into it. So first off, let's click over here and let's um, pick a date. So we're just gonna hit equals and we can go with July 6th, hit enter. And there's our date right there. It's in the date format, everything good to go. So. Now we click on this next one. We're trying to we're going to try to figure out the amount of the transaction from July 6th. So we hit equals v lookup open parentheses. It wants to know the lookup value. So instead of clicking on uh, July 6th on the on the table, we're just going to look at it in our mini table over here. Hit comma table array so it wants to know all of the data we're looking at so we go over here highlight the first row control shift down to highlight all of it then we do another comma and column index number it wants to know within that range of data what column number is it going from left to right so if we're going to try to find it for amount we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine so column number nine and then another comma and it wants to know exact match or appropriate match and the default is the exact match so hit false and then enter and there we go so for July 6th it had the amount of $98.23 great so let's copy this formula and move it down to category and as you see we're gonna have an error pop up so we need to fix something first off um, it's going to reference the cell one above it because that's what we told it to do. So now we need to fix that. And instead of doing M5, we'll do M4. And instead of doing the ninth column, which is that amount column, we want to do the eighth, which would be category. So we're going to replace that nine with an eight. And there we go. We have close. So let's ch check again. It's um, July 6th, $98.23, and it was closed. So awesome and here's a helpful little thing called data validation so um, we can make this cool little drop down if you want um, it's not super useful for this because date is um, has a lot of different dates but if there was something like um, maybe four or five of these in your first column that repeat over and over again this is really useful so just go under data and over here to this check mark and circle with a slash in it and go to data validation and you want to allow a list and the source would be this column control shift down and we hit okay and that's just a handy little thing um, you would have this drop down and then you can select 
what you want. And like I said, because there's so many dates, it's not too, it's not too useful. But if we had um, maybe large, medium, and small like we have in this column, um, that would be uh, a whole lot more helpful. But uh, yeah, that's just a cool trick I wanted to show off. All right, so that's how you do VLOOKUP, and um, it's really useful in big data. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.